the book of Matthew chapter 14 verse 13 feeding the 5,000 verse 13 when Jesus had it he departed from there by boat to a desert place by himself but when the multitudes had it they followed him on foot from the cities and when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and healed their sick. When it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a deserted place, and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. And they said to him, We have here only five loaves and two fish. He said, Bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave to the multitudes so they all ate and were filled and they took up 12 baskets full of the fragments that remained now those who had eaten were about 5000 men besides women and children oh lord we thank you for your weight what a powerful weight of oh god this was after jesus you know uh, I was told about, you know, uh, uh, um, John the Baptist who was beheaded. He heard this news and departed. The Bible tells us that when he was leaving, he left there by himself. And the multitude, when they heard about the same, they followed Jesus. Oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love this. I, lo I, lo I love the fact that they followed Jesus. They followed, they followed Jesus. Uh, may God help us to follow him, to follow him, to follow, to follow him and to copy also from him in everything that he does. The multitudes copied, you know, from Jesus, you know, they, 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 they followed in his footstep you know jesus when he had this he didn't go to the king and say hey why did you kill you know john he didn't you know plan a war against the king but he went into you know a deserted place and the multitudes they followed him the bible says that when they got them uh, obviously it came a time when you know i uh, started becoming late and the disciples um, you know they they, they 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 came to jesus and said send these people to their homes so that they can buy food but jesus said there's no need for that they are with me there is no need. when you are with god you will lack nothing the lord is your provider i want you to believe that the lord is your provider the lord is your provider when you follow jesus when you follow him he will provide for you. The Bible says, he asked the disciples, what do you have? They said, we have some loaves, we have two fish. He said, bring them to me. They brought whatever that they had to Jesus. Jesus blessed what they had and they started giving the multitude. The Bible says they were able to give everyone who was there, 5,000 men, not counting Amen. 5,000 men. There were a lot of people. And we know, we know that uh, those loaves and true fish cannot feed that amount of people. But because Jesus blessed that, blessed those loaves and, you know, those fishes, those five loaves and those true fishes, that food multiplied to a point where it was able to feed everyone. The disciples, they thought it was not enough. But when they brought it to Jesus, Jesus blessed it and it became enough for everyone. Hallelujah. I want to challenge you. Bring whatever that you have to God. 
God will bless it and it will be enough for you and your family, for you and everyone who's around you. Whatever that you're trying to start, you're trying to start a business, you're trying to start a business, but you are hesitating because you're saying you have a little amount of money. Bring what you have to God. Say, God, this is what I have, and I'm investing it into a business. According to a standard of this world, you need this much, but I have little, and believe God. Bring it to God, and God will bless it, and I tell you, when God blesses it, it's going to be enough. You will lack nothing. Bring it to God. The mistake that we make, we take the little that we have, we give it to the world, and it remains, you know, not enough. But the moment you bring what you have to God, God blesses it, and it becomes enough. Bring it to God, bring it to God, bring it to God, bring it to your God. Your joy. I come against this thing. You know, I've, 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 I've heard a lot about this thing. People will experience, you know, joy or happiness in their families maybe once in a month or once in three months. I rebuke that spirit right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare that you will experience joy, happiness every day with your family. Bring it to God, that yoke, bring it to God, bring it to God, that business, that marriage, that friendship, that relationship with your parents, with your siblings, bring it to God and God will bless it. Bring everything to God. I know you've been hesitating. You saying that it's not enough. Maybe you need to do this and that. Do not delay anymore. Bring whatever that you have to God and God will bless it. God will bless whatever that you have. Bring your cars. Dedicate them to God. Bring your house to God and say, Lord, I dedicate this house to you. Bless it, Lord. No thief will come in. Bring your car to God and say, Lord, bless my come. No accident formed against you shall be able to prosper. Bring it to God. And maybe someone might say, what does it mean when you say bring it to God? Do I need to give my car to pastor or to the church? No, bring it, dedicate it to God. Say, Lord, bless it, Lord. You know, Every time when God gives us things that we that 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 we get to possess, we forget to bring them to God. We forget that the same loaves and the fish they come from God. Whatever that you have, you got it from God. The same thing that you have, bring it to God, and God will bless it. When God blesses, it's gonna be enough. And I love the fact that the Bible says they were also left overs. So you're going to have enough that even people in your surroundings, they're going to benefit as well. That's how the power of God's blessing is. I pray that God will give you courage to bring everything that you have, everything that you're trying to achieve to Him in prayer, in prayer, and in all other ways, depending on how God is encouraging you to do this. But I know that God is doing something as you bring whatever that you bring to Him. As He blesses it, it's enough. You will lack no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed.